It's good neighbors with a little understanding. You can find the perfect blend. Hello. Hello. I'm Ben. And I'm Ben. We are the Navy Ben. I've been waiting for you to come back. This transatlantic <laughs> in slow <laughs> disconnect is, is, is getting, we're getting there. Oh no, Brett is going to kill me. Oh, Ryan, what have you done? Wait! Perfect picture, don't move. Why have you got me up so early here in, in Canada? Like, what, what's what's going on? Oh, it was Richie Morris getting you up so early in Canada. Oh, la, la. I'm not ready to go pump yet. I live to give. You should know that by now. Well, wait, I wanted to talk to you about the new chapter. The new chapter, as we're calling it. But you know, I think the universe might be throwing me a lifeline here. It could be a whole new chapter. And hopefully this will open up a brighter chapter for you all, eh? Yeah. It's a new year and it could be a new chapter for all of us. Um... Is, is yes. it like the, um, you know, the Bible, the te Holy Testaments of the Bible, but we've had the Old Testament, the New Testament? I reckon he's smuggling Bibles in off the coast. This is like... Well, this this is like the third chapter because we had Neighbours 1985 axed, <laughs> resurrected. <laughs> then we had like 86 to 2022 axed. Are you getting a sense of deja vu? Loud and clear. And now we're, this is the second resurrection, the, se the second coming. I've scheduled the resurrection for the morning. I beg your pardon. I mean, only neighbours could do one on Jesus, eh? Don't be blasphemous. <laughs> We've won up Jesus. Mm. Hey, hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. How do you like that, loser? The new trailer has dropped today. We were, there's just so much information to, to take in. We know it's coming back on 18th of September. Now pull out your phone and write it down. Neighbours is back, 18th of September. They don't need to write that down. And it's 18th of September in the UK, in Australia. What is that, Ben? What is that date, Ben? You've not said it enough there. 18th of September, Ben. Listen properly. I heard you the first time, Space Brain. The big news is we're all back together. You know, remember that when we um, COVID pushed the UK and Australia apart and we ended up weeks behind? It was hard. Yeah, it was really hard. And we couldn't talk online about our favourite characters because everyone was at different stages. Not anymore. We're back together again. Everyone is getting neighbours on the 18th of September. So this is it. We are back together. <sighs> Should we just watch it? Yeah, let's watch the trailer. This is where it started. This is where my heart is This is where it started this is I love you me. This is all me. I will never ever forget our wedding day This is where it started Marriage means different things to different people This, this cannot go wrong This is where it started I think they call it making an entrance I, what, well, I feel like they've given us a lot, but not very much. Not, not a lot. <laughs> All right, so what's the big takeaway here? There's um, a wedding. Sick. Got to love a wedding activity. <laughs> I mean, firstly, a wedding is always a joyous occasion. <laughs> <laughs>
slept with your sister. I think we have a slight attack of nerves. But who's getting married in the morning? Um, well, Ben, I've, I've, I have analysed this clip. A couple of times. I slowed, slowed it down and it is a, they're, they're in the Susan. Great to see Susan back, giving it the old Thanks. helicopter. <laughs> But in that clip, there is a character to her her right, Callum Rebecca is there. Mm. So why is he at the wedding? I don't know. So Harold's there. Yeah. If Harold's there, we've got to kind of think about it's got to be a kind of one of the long timers, because, you know, Harold's not going to rock up to Wendy's wedding, is he? Let's be fair. She's already married. Yep. Um, Listen, a lot could have happened in the time gap. Harold could rock up to a Mackenzie wedding because he and Mackenzie got very close last year. He helped. She. He helped her get over Hendrix. Hendrix death. So, are you implying <laughs> that Harold and Mackenzie are getting wed? No. Well, that would be a big twist, wouldn't it? Mackenzie and Harold. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, can you imagine the Daily Mail? Harold Bishop married the <laughs> transgender world. Oh. It's possible to sell newspapers without resorting to tabloid sensationalism. Really? So, yeah, Har Harold would turn up to a Mackenzie wedding, and or if it was a Harold wedding, Alan would turn up to a Harold wedding. So, it could be maybe Harold's getting married again. Maybe Match the Ghost is back, and they're going to have this the first ever supernatural wedding in soap history. Well, she might have res resurrected because, you know, it would be a kind of symbolic considering the shores being resurrected, so they just resurrect Madge. Mind you, not that I believe in ghosts for one minute. Two resurrections for the price of one. You can't ask for more than that. But I did <laughs> notice three letters on the poster when they were waiting for the wedding to begin. Now, yes. Those letters were E, S, E. Well, who is it? Whose name ends with ease? Ease. Um, so we could take a pun. Go on. And say, Therese. Therese. Could she be renewing, then... her, renewing her wedding to Paul? Because that would explain why Harold was there. Mum. What? Well, yes. Wouldn't explain why Callum was there. Wouldn't explain. What, what reason might Callum be there? Well, mind you, Callum could just be visiting Cody and Melanie and just, you know, he needs to fill his episode quota for the week and goes along to the wedding. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. We've, I think we've narrowed it down to maybe a, a Mackenzie wedding. Mackenzie getting married to someone new. Harold and Mackenzie. Paul and Therese. Therese and somebody. Um, Therese. Now that would rock the neighbours' community. No, oh, he's a selfish, reckless womaniser. A rat bag. Yeah. A mongrel. Yeah. And more trouble than he's worth. Okay, I don't know what leaps you're making here. That's, we all wanted... Did, actually, no, we were quite divided, weren't we, about Paul and Therese getting back together in the finale, but they were they are kind of the power couple of the show. We all know who wears the business cape in that power couple. People were divided about the prospect of them just jumping straight back into each other's arms again and Therese going, you you be who you want to be and I'll have you. Whereas I think we would people would have been a bit more on board with it if she'd just given him a look to say, we're not over. Then it was up to our imaginations about whether they got back together or whether she flipped out the shoulder pads and copped off with somebody else. No, no, of course not. A lot to think about. Who is getting married? 
Yeah. Hopefully, we'll all find out on the 18th of September. What date then? The 18th of September. Sorry, what was that? But what else do we get from that? Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce is back with Jane. I because I assumed it was going to be like a FaceTime cameo or something, but he's with Jane somewhere. It looked quite cold, cold and rainy wherever they are, but that's could be Melbourne. Could well, be Melbourne. Sick. Is it Melbourne? Are they yeah. over here? Annie Jones spent a lot of time over here in the UK and Ireland. Well, maybe you should visit me in London sometime. So maybe that that was an opportunity for them to film something over here, maybe. But they're very much in love. So Mike and Jane look very much in love still. So it doesn't look like Mike's dead or they're splitting up. So what next for them both? Exactly. We saw Mrs. O.C. coming out of a lift. Yeah. Reese Sinclair. Is she a lift engineer? <laughs> Oh God, Is she, does she tamper with the lifts at Lassiter's? Is that the big, the next big disaster? Oh great, this hotel is a death trap. And it always happens on a wedding day, right. doesn't it? Yeah, although well, they're at the um, orchard, the vineyard, the vineyard, aren't they? Well, they the could come, well yeah, but the, the honeymoon suite could be at Lassiter's, so. It's not quite the shafting the bride once, is it? <laughs> Rude. Disgusting! That's absolute filth. Red roll, anyone? And let's be honest, it's neighbours. The honeymoon suite will be at Lassiter's. There is no other hotel in existence in Harrisburg. Um, an old um, Mackenzie seems to be besties with old Sadie Rodwell as well. Yeah, that's a bit of a turnaround after the whole bullying fire saga. Death of Hendrix. Yeah. No, we just forget that, yeah, don't yeah. we? I have got to admit, I did not see that coming. And also, there seemed to be a bit of um, frisson between her and the new coffee shop owner, manager, Hass. Yeah, well... I'm up for that. Giving Mackenzie a second chance of love. Okay. A new, a new chapter, shall we say, which is the, <laughs> the, the phrase of the day. And then um, we have this lovely mot scene with our Mel. I will never, ever forget our wedding day. And yes. He will never forget their wedding day. I don't know why he would Come forget their wedding day, considering it was only last year and it was a monumental day in all our lives. So how yeah. he could forget it? Yeah, no one's ever going to forget that wedding day. I hope not. Okay, why is he saying, like, did, like uh, did Mel look happy, sad? I couldn't quite get what the context was there. If he's messed her about, you know the rules. I'm going to kill him. How? I'm going to make him pay. He's going and suffer. I don't know I can help. Why. I'm getting the poison to win. Until this day, sometimes no. I cry. That's too easy. I'll wring your neck. He didn't even say goodbye. He didn't take the time to lie. Bang, bang. That kind of revenge isn't enough. shot me down. Bang, bang. Okay, I have an idea. Ground. Bang, bang. I like the sound of that. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Are you insane? My baby shot me down. <laughs> well, Lucinda did warn us that we're going to love it. We're going to hate it. We're going to love it. We're going to hate it. We're going to love it. We're going to hate it. And then we're going to love it. You guys are going to, you, you're going to love it. You're going to hate oh. it and love it. You're going to love it and hate it. You're going to, there's going to be bits you're going to hate. There's oh, going to be bits you're going to love. <laughs> and it's going to be all very exciting. Oh my God. I just don't think I've got the emotional roller coaster in me at the minute. I haven't recovered from last year. What the hell was all that about? And now you're taking me on another juggernaut around the Toddy Melanie love train. Yeah. 
This is out of order. Can you give me a break? Because this is a really tricky situation. We have been through enough. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Yeah. Just, oh, unless there's a bit of an amnesia thing going on. Amnesia. I doubt it, Mrs. Mangle. Oh, you read about it all the time. People lose their memories, wander off. Yes, well, it does happen, but it's pretty rare. Because we know neighbors love an amnesia storyline, so he's saying, I will never forget the wedding because he's an amnesiac, and maybe the wedding is the only thing that he remembers. Yes, you, you might have nailed it there. So excellent. You are really good at this. Excellent work, Ben. Amnesia. Toadie has got amnesia. Amnesia. I doubt it. But that's how they could fill in the gap about what's happened since Neighbours went off air. Toadie's had amnesia, so they're retelling the story of Ramsey Street over the past year and two months through Toadie's eyes. He's learning what's gone on as he is the viewer. Look, I need to lie down. If the viewers don't like you it, you can just do him waking up. <laughs> So yeah, amnesia, that's how it starts. You've nailed it, Ben. Jobs are good and jobs Sorry. Are good. Massive spoiler. Toadie's got amnesia. What? Lots of people weren't in the trailer. We got a glimpse of the Varga Murphy family pulling up on Ramsey Street. We had a friendly wave from Dr. Carl, just a friendly wave each morning. I think it'll be great to have you so close. We can all wave hello to each other in the morning. Yeah, I think we've... Pretty much, that's really all we can pull from it, really. I, I feel like we, we've we got most of... Enough. We've teased enough. Yeah. We've teased enough. But if you spotted anything else, any other wild and wonderful theories, that you please let us know, post it below, because then we're all in this together. <laughs> Finally. All in it together. September 18th. September 18. <laughs> and until then, you know where we are. You know where our YouTube is. Give it a click. Have a little subscribe. Have a little peruse. Join the club. Sit back and enjoy and count down the days until September the 18th. Do you want to put it in the book? September 18th.